Greetings in Christ. Welcome to our channel, Heaven's Warning. Wishing you a blessed day in Christ. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. In these times of uncertainty and upheaval, there is an urgent need for spiritual preparedness. As the world experiences an increase in natural disasters, societal conflicts, and widespread suffering, many believe that these events are not merely coincidental, but serve as divine warnings. They are signs that time is running out and that the world is on the brink of a transformative period. Now more than ever, humanity is being called to return to the path of light, to embrace faith, and to prepare spiritually for the challenges ahead. This is not just another message, it is a critical divine warning that has the potential to change lives and alter the course of the world. The Virgin Mary, who comes to us as a loving mother, implores us to take heed of the warnings and to take action before it is too late. All around us, we witness the disintegration of the world. The increase in natural disasters such as wildfires, floods, and earthquakes is a visible sign of the growing instability of the earth. Social conflicts, wars, and acts of violence are on the rise, leaving countless individuals feeling lost and overwhelmed by the magnitude of these global challenges. Yet, these events are not random, they are warnings from heaven. In various messages conveyed by spiritual figures, including the Virgin Mary, humanity is being urged not to ignore the signs. The natural disasters, societal chaos, and widespread suffering are all part of a greater spiritual battle, and the time to act is now. The Virgin Mary, in her messages, expresses sorrow for the growing darkness in the world. She feels the pain of her son, Jesus Christ, who sacrificed his life to save humanity but many continue to stray from his teachings. In these times, when the darkness seems to be closing in, she calls us back to the path of light, reminding us that there is hope, but only if we respond with urgency. The message warns that catastrophic events are coming and no part of the world will be untouched. Among the regions highlighted, the United States is said to face an imminent natural disaster. This disaster will be devastating and those who are unprepared will suffer greatly. But this is not just a message of doom and destruction. It is also a message of hope and divine protection. Despite the impending disasters, the Virgin Mary reassures her children that those who place their trust in God and strengthen their faith through prayer will be protected. The call to action is clear. Individuals must undergo a spiritual conversion, strengthening their relationship with God and turning away from the distractions and temptations of the world. The Virgin Mary emphasizes that time is short. Those who ignore the signs and continue to live in spiritual indifference risk losing their souls. But for those who listen and take action, there is hope. The protection of God through the intercession of the Virgin Mary and Archangel Michael will be with those who pray and dedicate themselves to a life of faith. Prayer, especially the recitation of the Holy Rosary, is emphasized as one of the most powerful tools we have in these times of tribulation. The Virgin Mary has repeatedly stressed the importance of prayer in overcoming the challenges ahead. The Holy Rosary is described as an unbreakable shield and a weapon against the forces of darkness. Through prayer, particularly the Rosary, we align ourselves with divine protection. Each prayer, each Hail Mary, is a plea for grace and mercy. By consecrating ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we place ourselves under their protective mantle. The Virgin Mary urges families to consecrate themselves to these Sacred Hearts, trusting in their ability to shield them from the coming trials. Moreover, invoking the protection of Archangel Michael is crucial in these times of spiritual warfare. Archangel Michael, the defender against the forces of darkness, will stand with those who call upon him for protection. The Virgin Mary assures us that no destructive force can stand against the power of God when we seek his grace and the intercession of his angels. The message could not be clearer. Spiritual conversion is not optional. It is a necessity. Time is running out, and those who fail to heed the warnings risk not only their physical well-being, but also their eternal souls. The Virgin Mary stresses that the window of opportunity for conversion is closing quickly. Indifference, complacency, 
and spiritual laziness are dangerous traps that lead to destruction. The call to spiritual conversion is a call to return to God with humility and faith. It is a reminder that God is always ready to welcome back those who seek Him. But the choice to return must be made now, before it is too late. Those who ignore this call risk facing the trials to come without the protection of divine grace. For many, the idea of spiritual conversion may seem overwhelming, but the message offers reassurance. Through prayer, consecration, and trust in God's plan, we can find the strength to make this important transformation. Conversion is not about perfection. It is about turning our hearts back to God and aligning ourselves with His will. It is about embracing a life of faith, love, and service. The Virgin Mary's messages also highlight the need for preparation, both spiritual and mental. She warns of global disasters that will affect various nations, including Mexico and Spain. These events will test humanity's faith and resilience, and those who are unprepared will face greater challenges. While the physical dangers are significant, the message emphasizes that the true battle is spiritual. The disasters we see unfolding are reflections of a deeper spiritual struggle, a struggle between light and darkness, good and evil. The Virgin Mary encourages us to prepare not only by strengthening our faith, but also by helping others on their spiritual journeys. Now is the time to spread the message of conversion, to reach out to those who are lost, and to offer support to those who are struggling. Building a global spiritual community is essential in these times. We are not meant to face these trials alone. By uniting in prayer and faith, we can support one another and strengthen the body of believers. Together, we can face the challenges ahead with confidence, knowing that we are not alone. Despite the darkness that seems to be enveloping the world, the message is ultimately one of hope. The Virgin Mary reassures us that God's love is unwavering and that those who trust in His divine protection will find refuge and peace. Even as the world shakes and crumbles, those who remain steadfast in their faith will be held in the hands of God. God's love is a refuge in times of trouble, and His promises are unbreakable. The Virgin Mary encourages us to place our trust in God, even when the future seems uncertain. She promises that those who follow her guidance will be shielded from harm, that their homes and families will be protected, and that they will experience peace even in the midst of chaos. The message concludes with a call for perseverance in prayer and faith. The trials ahead will test our resolve, but those who remain firm in their faith will witness the triumph of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The forces of darkness cannot overcome the light of God's love, and those who trust in Him will emerge from these tribulations stronger than before. The world is on the brink of significant change, and the time for spiritual preparedness is now. This is a critical moment, a moment that requires immediate action. The Virgin Mary's message is a call to embrace spiritual conversion, to strengthen our faith through prayer, and to trust in the protection of God. For those who listen and take action, there is hope. The protection of the Virgin Mary, Archangel Michael, and the Sacred Heart of Jesus will be with those who remain faithful. The trials ahead may be difficult, but they are not insurmountable. With prayer, faith, and trust in God, we can navigate these times of tribulation with courage and hope. The message is clear. The time for indifference has passed. Now is the time to act, to prepare spiritually, and to help others do the same. Together, as a global spiritual community, we can face the challenges ahead with strength, knowing that God's love and protection are always with us. Let us not ignore the signs. Let us embrace this opportunity for spiritual renewal placing our trust in God's divine plan and finding refuge in His infinite love. The world may be facing great trials, but those who remain faithful will witness the ultimate victory of light over darkness. Thank you for being part of this journey. Your presence and engagement make this exploration meaningful and impactful. Until next time, may you find inspiration and hope in the shared stories of our human experience.